you guys what is up welcome back to my channel if you're new here then hey y'all what is up i make beauty fashion lifestyles a bunch of fun videos here on my channel i'm a youtuber from dallas texas i make videos with my fiance cody who you may have seen before and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button right down here and check out our channel. All right, I have a really interesting video because you probably aren't aware if you are new here and if you do know and you do remember me then like girl, hey, it's been a long time. I was a beauty guru uh, back in the day. I started my YouTube channel in 2008, 2009-ish. Oh, it was around when I was in eighth grade, so that was be around 2008. And I was a beauty guru on YouTube. My username was Juicy Chick Loves Ya. Let's just have a moment of silence for that username. All right, that's all it gets because that's embarrassing. I made a channel when I was like 13, Juicy Chick Loves Ya. I like freaking loved making YouTube videos. It was seriously my passion. I grew a following pretty quickly. And then I went back to school and all the kids found out and made fun of me and I deleted my channel. So yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I've had so so many regrets about doing that. But when you're 13 and you're at a new school and everyone makes fun of you and calls you names and you just want to be liked, that is a pretty big deal. And it was a big deal to me, but I'm back. So when the coronavirus hit, when COVID hit, I lost my job and I instantly thought of YouTube. I instantly thought of everyone that I watch on YouTube. And I said, this is my chance to come back. This is my chance to do something that I've always wanted and wished I had stuck with. And it's never too late to follow your dream, guys. So here we go. So I still have a lot of my videos on this channel. So this channel is actually not Juicy Chick Loves Ya. This channel's original name that I made it under was Lauren Couture XO. So if you search that name, on YouTube, you're gonna find this channel, but I think I made this channel before Google bought YouTube, so now it just goes off of your name, which my name is Lauren Rose. Hey, girl, hey. That's what we're here for. I have all of my videos. I came back, I started making videos like in 2011, but I just like wasn't hitting the vibe. These videos are very embarrassing, but we're gonna pull them up. My best moments, just like the best times of my life videos that just really resonate with me. So we're gonna watch them. So the title of this video is called The Best Way to Spread Christmas Cheer is Seeing Loud for All to Hear. I uploaded this video December 26, 2010. I was 15 and it's just like really a masterpiece. Such a long time, I really don't have an excuse. Like honestly, I just, I haven't made a video. Yeah, this week I just, I didn't have an excuse, guys. I just hadn't made a video. Like, come on. I was in California. So, if you follow me on Twitter, you already know this. Um, which I bought stuff with my own money. But then, when I came home, I also had like a normal Christmas, but I didn't have like one big present. Like, usually, like last year, I got my MacBook. I just got like clothes and jewelry and shoes and stuff like that. It's just everything about this video. I'm gonna fast forward to a specific moment though that you guys just really need to see. It's my favorite moment of this video. It's when I show my Mickey Mouse ears. Yeah, I am in love with Disneyland. Like, I wanna go there like every year. I wanna go there like every day. It was so amazing. These ears. I wore these like all day. Yeah, I'm pretty hot, right? Please tell me you heard the, please, we're gonna rewind. We're gonna rewind this just really quick. You ready? Ears. I wore these like all day. Yeah, I'm pretty hot, right? Who did I think I was? We're gonna move on very quickly because I can't. All right, this video is titled Forever 21 Haul. It's just like the cream of the crop. But let's just, let's just watch. Hey guys, so today, I'm just gonna stop because there's a lot of things I want to discuss about this right here. The backdrop, for one, is my comforter for my bed that I duct taped to my bedroom wall as a cutie little backdrop. A lot I could talk about myself, but I'm not going to roast myself because 
you know, it was a part of my life. I thought I was cute and we're just gonna roll with it, so. I'm doing a haul video, but um, if you notice, I definitely have a new background and I just decided to change it up a bit. I just have some stuff from Forever Tree One and I did go to Ulta and buy some things, so I'll show you what I got there first. So I got a gift card for my birthday from Ulta. It's just like, like that hair I probably had in a braid all day long at school and I took it out and was like, straightened the bangs and was like, beautiful. My hair looks great. Like, I know that's what happened. And then I got two more things. One of them I don't have with me, but it's the color that I have on my nails right now. And it's OPI's um, Ostentatious Turquoise. I think that's what it's called. But it's just like a turquoise blue and I think it's super pretty. I remember this outfit very specifically, guys. And I thought that it was just like the best thing. So let's look at it. It has red stripes. And then I bought this undershirt and I also bought this belt and it's just navy and it has, it's like braided. So yeah. This was like the start of my preppy phase that I went through. I like wanted to be preppy so bad with the like large monograms and just like all of it. I wanted to be a prepster and I felt really preppy in this outfit. Is I know it's like spring and it's about to be summer so why buy sweaters, Lauren? I don't know, but I got this white sweater. Well, it's not really a sweater because it's like it's super thin, but it's white and it's kind of see-through, so you can see like colors that are you wearing underneath it. Ooh. So I got this, and then I also bought this sweater. It's inside out because I tried it on, but and it's also really thin material, so it's not like something that you ha only can wear during the winter. These are like memories that I forgot I had about having side swooped bangs. Do you remember constantly having these bangs that went across and you would like go like this to like get them swoopy? I just watched myself do that and I had a major throwback. I'm really, really happy that I have that memory right now. I got this shirt, which I think is super cute. I love like layered, like lacy kind of shirts. So I thought this was really perfect and it just, has a bunch of like frilly layers. The top one's just like plain white and then it has stripes and then this one is just a navy. I thought this would be cute, maybe of like underneath a navy cardigan or something like that, so. I just like love my little baby voice. Like I forget, I just don't think about my voice changing over time or like getting more mature sounding. So when I hear myself when I was 15, I sound like little baby it's so cute okay so we're gonna move on from that video and we're gonna go to my spring summer fashions this is april 2011 and i kind of changed a lot i don't know if it's my like hair straight or what it is but i'm kind of digging to spring 2011 more and so then my end of my sophomore year and we're gonna watch my spring summer fashion i'm I love the fact that I'm still wearing my drill team practice uniform. That like blue shirt is from my dance practice. So I love that I kept it on for this video. Let's watch. Hey guys, so I just got out of drill team practice and I had this idea to make a spring slash summery kind of fashion. So I I get a lot of requests of doing like kind of like a my style video, so I decided to make a video for my style for spring slash summer because summer summer because I love how I like still talk like that. I always say like words wrong and like I still did it. Like I haven't changed. I changed but I haven't changed. Yeah. I love the old title, like the little title videos. They like really bring me back. It's just like this and then let me know. Ooh. So the first outfit I'm showing you is just real simple for spring. I'm wearing these Miss Me Jean shorts, which have rhinestones on the back, which are super glittery. And I'm wearing this gray top, which has sequins and it buttons up and there's lace on the side and it's also very glittery. And for my top underneath, it has all these ruffles and layers, which are navy and white. I don't have words. <laughs> I just want to laugh, but it's like also so cute at the same time. I promise I'm not making fun of myself, guys. Like, I'm not a pro at YouTube whatsoever, but like, we've come a long way, right? I mean, this is 10 years ago. This is 10 years ago. Let's, let's go on to the next outfit. Oh, I used to wear this one to church a lot. 
My next outfit is very much for spring and it has this very floral skirt with all these colorful patterns and for my shirt it is just pink with all these lacy flowery pattern full well, design as you can tell and my bracelet is just juicy couture and it's sequined and I also have a fake juicy necklace. My next outfit is super summery. It makes me look really tan which <laughs> I'm not that tan trust me but I'm just wearing these white shorts which I don't know where I got and I'm also wearing this pink v-neck shirt which is very neon and I got that from Forever 21 and I'm just wearing this white zebra print watch which I don't know where I got but you can find them basically in I'm pretty sure that watch was from Charlie Charming Charlie's but oh my god I love the fashion I love the style of Lauren like my style has changed so much like I used to be like here I would say I was just basic girly girl then I kind of went to preppy when I got in college. I was all about the J. Crew look. And then I went to sorority girl. And then afterwards, I was kind of just trendy girl again. And now I'm just like very into neutral, minimalist, min minimalist, what's in style. But it's just really funny to me to like see full circle like how much I've changed. I haven't seen this video probably since I uploaded it. And this is my last outfit and my favorite. And it's just this. Um, short dress that with all these flowery swirled patterns and colorful which I'm in love with and I'm also wearing these green sandals from Dillard's that are super summery oh that was a very abrupt ending but I like it there's just a lot of thoughts flowing through my head yeah so we're gonna go on to the next video all right this is the last one I have to show you guys it is my back to school favorites this is actually a lot earlier than the one I just showed you this is July 2010 so I would have been 15 yeah I would be 15 14 ish so yeah here we go hey you guys just like my back to school whoa, whoa, whoa I did not mean to come in that hot those bangs am I wearing mascara I don't think I'm wearing mascara it's the bangs the bangs grew out a lot in December, from July to December, I can tell. I don't know if I was just too lazy to do my hair. I had never done, this is my virgin hair color, by the way. Let's keep, let's just keep watching. School like favorites video, just products that I just love during school. First is a hair product. I always like to try new leave-in conditioners, so I decided to try the Garnier Fructis. Do y'all remember this stuff? I remember that was going around the beauty community everywhere. The Garnet Fruity Sleeve-In Conditioner. I forgot I had that, but it was huge. Even conditioner. I got it at Walmart for like, from MAC when wearing this eyeshadow, so it's more like on your eye, you know? And it's not just like glittery everywhere. Another palette that I recommend big time from going back to school, this is an amazing eyeshadow palette, and it's Too Faced Natural Eye. I still have that palette, guys. I still use that palette. And that was from ten and a half years ago. I'm still using that palette. I probably should throw that away. This is just a palette that has a bunch of eyeshadows that you can wear to school and it's amazing. They're all pigmented. This one is my favorite. Those nails. I just want to say I did those nails myself. I just remember during this time of my life, I was super into doing my own nails, like doing my own nail designs, and I would do them for like hours. I would go to the Dollar Tree and get those nail polishes with a little brush and just do my own designs. I just remember that. I have brushes, all time favorite brushes that I think if, it, if I could only have two brushes in the entire world, it would be these two. And it's a MAC 239 and a MAC 217. They're an eyeshadow and a crease brush. And I think I can just live off this brush. Like, this could be my shadow brush. This could be my, like... How that I think about it, like, that eyeshadow brush I still use, but the crease brush, I don't have that anymore. Like, you ever, like are sitting here and you're thinking like whatever happened to like this item those are one of those items that i have no idea what happened to it like if i threw it away or my mom probably stole it i don't know but i've been missing that thing for a while and i'm gonna need to look for it the stuff haven't shown it on my cheeks but i probably will and i just love wearing this just on my lips just with it but on my cheeks, I do wear high beam as a highlight because this stuff is just the bomb.com. It's just like amazing. It's the bomb.com, y'all. Gosh, I still say that and that's really embarrassing. 
It's also very embarrassing when I like see me like talking about stuff from almost 11 years ago and I still have the product. Like I still have that makeup in my makeup bin. Like it's probably toxic. That's disgusting. I'm gonna need to clean up my makeup after I wash this. Telescope. Yeah. And this is my all-time favorite mascara, the Great Lash, which is the pink and green tube. Another amazing mascara. So you don't have to spend high end to get an amazing mascara because these just as I also like to have a clear mascara for my eyebrows and sometimes if I don't feel like wearing a black mascara because I don't feel like taking my makeup off that. Watching this just like really made me remember like during this time of my life is when I started over tweezing my eyebrows and then they never really recovered. This year I like made a point to say that I'm going to like get my eyebrows in check. Um, in looking at myself in this video I realized that I never like took care of my eyebrows. I never did my eyebrows. I over plucked them and they were twigs and they're still twigs. So shout out to Lauren for ruining my eyebrows 10 years ago. Alright you guys, I hope you got a good laugh out of that like I did. I haven't watched those videos in a long time and you guys, I probably have 20 videos like that that are privated because they're just so embarrassing. So if this video gets, you know, a certain amount of likes, then maybe I'll unprivate them just for giggles. Alright you guys, thanks again for watching. Leave me requested videos down below. This was actually requested by someone and I thought it would be fun and decided to do it. I will see you guys next time. Bye!